Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Answer Interventions reality update video, episode 52. And this is the Automator episode. And before we do this, we're going to check out our glyphs here, because we have our first triple effect glyph. So here we go. Um, replication is a 58.3% rarity. 10 DT times 10 per E10,000 Replicanti. And then this whatever replicant oh it's the replicanti factor for glyph flow. Oh that's what that means. I was wondering what that actually meant. So basically it's a glyph that boosts glyph level directly. So it's pretty interesting. Um I feel like that's one of the few effects I have not seen yet. Um and then there's just basic glyph here. There's this trash dilation glyph, but I like this one. It's a power glyph that is already better than my current power glyph at the the 39 and e269 except it's e it's 0.04 e302 and it has a dimension boost multiplier so this okay i know um i it, it didn't affect attorney challenge 11 with the the time studies but that might actually affect that and just boost the game in general so i think i'm just gonna go with this power glyph it's it's you know pretty easy here one thing i haven't even done all of my eternity challenges which, which one am i oh i missed i missed eternity challenge too it's one of the capped rewards that's actually funny i i didn't i didn't even notice that it's, it's because eternity challenge 2 can get kind of hard um or at least since like you can like it's the fifth completion of that's probably harder than the fifth completion of attorney challenge one three and five so that's why but anyway yeah i'm gonna make a new reality pick this power glyph and um yeah it's only level eight but this will be pretty good here and yeah it's it's just gonna well i mean the reality is pretty normal so now the epic power glyph um this power glyph and then of course the dilation glyph and then this glyph so i have a pretty good glyph setup at this point but of course well to unlock the automator i need to do this and this allows me to complete an eternity challenge multiple times at once if i can reach the goal of the higher completion of that challenge so it's really good and yeah there we go i get the achievement for unlocking the automator which gives me another 50 percent boost to dimension boosts as if the glyph wasn't enough but anyway enough waiting let's actually look at the automator so five four three two one bam oh my god look at this okay so it, it runs 2.12 commands per real time second it reach reality will make it run 0.6 percent faster i thought it, interesting i thought it was like just 0.01 faster up to a maximum of a thousand per second this script zero out of ten thousand across all scripts zero out of sixty thousand is this characters or lines i don't know Anyway, I'm going to read this. Welcome to the Antimatter Dimensions Automator. This page is an introduction page that gives a very broad overview. <laughs> oh my god, this is just the introduction page. Um, <laughs> of everything you can do with the Automator. Specific details on various functionality can be found in the How to Play or their respective tabs when relevant. The scripting language. It uses a custom scripting language in order to perform sort certain game actions for you. Click this button um so this um to bring up a list of available commands you can also define constants based on shorthand names various values and the bookmarks page if i can even find the bookmarks page um it's here or yeah whatever um yeah it's it's gonna take many episodes for me to actually under understand this layout it splits itself into two halves the left half is the script and controls starting, stopping, and repeating execution. The right half controls automator information. Clicking the this thing expands it to full screen. Um, okay. 
And then editor modes, there's a block based editor and a and a text based editor. So basically it's like scratch versus, you know, actually coding JavaScript. Um, you can switch between multiple scripts um, using the drop down of the second row of buttons. This, I guess, um, we renamed. Um, scripts in the block editor are made using the block tab. And in the text editor, yeah, okay. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Oh my God, there's so much info here. Um, use some smaller pre made scripts from the template generator. Wherever the template generator even is, it's this. Um, it's a template for like climb EP, kind of turn these infinities. It's so like, for example, I could do this. Um, and then what is just, I, I could, okay, I just, I can use like this and then crunches per eternity. What if just zero? And I don't know. One? I don't, I don't even know. It, so like this, I, I don't know. I'm copied the clipboard and then, okay. So this this is a template of what could be a eternity grinding um thing. Okay, and it, and it uses characters, not lines. So that's interesting. We can go back to info here. Um, you can import and export, and you can save scripts by um checking the automator how to play entries for more details on um, their two character limits for this lag basically it's just saying that the automator scripts don't really save until the game saves so that's interesting and then there's errors extended data transfer whatever that means um you recently executed commands and then start, rewind, stop, step. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. How much am I even going to be using it? I don't even know because I mean, like what can, okay, what can I do with it? That'll, that'll be useful. Studies respec. It basically, it just respects on the next eternity. Okay. Um, I think I understand. I'm I'm probably just gonna do this off camera because this isn't really. I mean, I I guess I can briefly um cover all of them, but I don't want to like trying to be understanding all of them on camera. Basically, there's studies respect studies load, which I'm guessing is just loading a preset. Studies purchase, which is purchasing additional studies. There's Prestige and Infinity Eternity Reality Unlock Unlocks an Eternity Challenger Time Dilation Start So it starts an Eternity Challenger Dilation Auto So Auto It basically turns on Prestige Auto Buyers Allows me to change the settings Black Hole It allows me to Turn it on or off so I, I'm guess I'm guessing this is just the 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 equivalent of pause in the black hole. That's what I think. Notify this just tells me what'll happen, and it's just adding comments. It's pretty typical. Wait, so this can be like wait until something happens. Um, pause, and this will this will be like pausing a time and then if it's just the usual if statement until so i guess like it's kind of like while but not quite that here's an actual while thing and then this is just a list of currencies i can use and then um formatting comparisons I don't, I don't know what that is. And then commands within blocks. I, um, I'm not even sure. Anyway, yeah, what do I even want to do with with such an automator? Maybe something that automates eternity challenge completions? I don't know. I What I'm going to do 
instead is think a little bit less about this and just do some stuff like reduce the black hole inactive time interval by 20%. This is now down to 20 minutes. And something like maybe extend the black hole's duration by 30%. So now, yeah, that is pretty good. Now the active time percent is up to over 3%, and the average game speed is up to 52 times. So yeah, the black hole is getting crazy. Now I've been I'm noticing that, like the automator is powerful, but it's not all powerful. It's not omniscient. And what I mean by this is that I was just thinking I wanted to create a script to automate everything up to Eternity Challenge One, but then I found I I was looking through this and there's no way to purchase time theorems, and that's kind of important if I want to progress at all. I mean, I could just wait for the time theorems. It always is a possible thing with the time theorems per hour. Because, what, it's like 1.6 time theorems per hour, and then each time, like, each 20 minutes that the black hole activates, I get whatever, 30 seconds of like, 25 times. It's so, like, that's, I mean, like, that's probably... It gets me probably like 48 hours, which is a bunch of time theorems per black hole activation. But it's not everything, and it's not just that. It's also, it doesn't have... The next thing I was thinking of is something to automate the dilation stage. But there's nothing there that says purchase one of these upgrades. I mean, yes, I can go in and out of dilation, but the most important part is the parts that are covered by perks, not the automator. It's pretty interesting. I don't know why I thought the automator would be actually even more powerful than it was. And it makes me want to get something like TTS with the perks, because I don't really have a plan for the, my perk tree at this point. There's, there's a number of things I could do. TTS is pretty interesting because it basically gives me that time theorem model buyer I wanted. Something like um, this one unlocks the auto buyers for the re repeatable dilation upgrades, which is something I, I really wanted. Additionally, if I just go one further than that, I remove the Eternity Challenge 11 requirement from the dilation unlock, making Eternity Challenge 11, it, no, not, it doesn't make it, it com just completely bypasses it. And I don't need its reward, it's... It's just, that seems incredibly powerful. And I get stuff like EU2, which is a pretty good upgrade um, to begin with. And there's also some stuff here. So I feel like at this point, I just need more perks. And I, TTS is pretty nice. And this is also a pretty nice perk here. But... I think that this is a better way because this perk is really good. This perk is even better. And then I won't have to, won't have to worry about turning Challenge 11 at all after this perk. So then what could I use the automator for at this point? I'm not even sure. And also somehow there's an error. Or it says more than one script has this name. Oh, I see. Um, yeah, I can just delete because I don't care, but yeah, what, what do I want to do with this? I don't know. That's, that's the thing. I mean, I guess at the very least, or let's, let's just do this real quick, just to not get a whole bunch of achievements. So I don't need to use the auto achievements for that. But, um, I mean, at the very least I gained achievement, which has a pretty nice reward. Like, Dimension Booster 50% stronger? That's really good, I think. I don't know. Is there is there some place that tells me where um, Dimension Boosts do stuff? I mean, there's this, but it just says Dim Boosts on... No, I want to I wanna see what makes up Dim Boosts. So, I mean, like, at least I can do this just as normal. I mean, I, I could make a script that just 
um, automates something like, I don't know, um, like, like, I can make a script that basically just has me clicking this buy max button. Just doing that. And buying the time theorems. So, I could do something along the lines of... Also, while I'm trying to write this script, here is a black hole activation that is making the game speed 1682, which is just ridiculous here. It's just, it's just funny to see all these achievements just being gotten without any effort. And I probably also have a stupid amount of infinities and a turn. Yeah, E11 infinities, millions of eternities. This is, it's just insane to see the black hole activate. Okay, I came up with a little automator script here that should try to mostly automate zero eternity points all the way up to the first eternity challenge. And basically what this does is it just purchases the time studies here. And first is just um, basically that these six and then LS stands for little studies. Um, which is 62, 33, 21, 31, 41, in that order. So I'm going to try to test this. Right now I have 53 time theorems, so hopefully it, if I do this, it should hopefully recognize that I'm after this 45, but before the 70, which means that, okay, let's, let's see how this works. So, um, has it respect? It has. So I, I will need to do... Um, the manual turning point. I could just go here and do like one e two, and then just automate that. Um, but let's see if this is working at all. Right now, hmm, it's stuck on this line. So I did see this thing called no wait, whatever that means. So I'm gonna try that. Um, and now let's try seeing if this does anything, and. Looks like I have purchased everything, but now I'm respecting for some reason. Let's try no wait on everything. And then and then go back. Because I don't know why it's respecting. So do this. Um go here. Um hopefully it should do something. Oh yeah, I need to actually start the automator first. So Got this, got this, got 111, and so now, yeah, it just, just should be looping between these four. I'm going to buy max, see what happens, and now I have more than 70, so I can do this, and it should be doing this. Oh yeah, I, I, need, I need no weight in all this. So now let's see what it does. I've, I've just added no weight in all the lines, so here we go. It is, it just got... 111 and it's do and it's going all the way down to 161. Um, I have seven time theorems. Let's see if it'll actually buy 162. There it goes. Bought 162. Now let's see if it'll get 171. Yes. And now will it get the little studies? Yes, it will. So there we go. First successful automator script. It took took a couple of tries, but there we go. This basically automates all of the um all the time study respecting and all that crap um, before I get to Attorney Challenge 1. Because then when I have to automate the Attorney Challenges, things get a little bit crazy. So I guess next episode is mostly just going to be about the second black hole because I'm very close to it now. And I mean, okay, I still need to get the reality machines for that. But yeah, I'll also be thinking of more automator scripts I can do. I'm thinking maybe I'll automate the... Um, Eternity Challenge 10 up to Eternity Challenge 11 phase because that's also pretty easy. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.